below decks hair and makeup artist, Natalie Costillo, has shared some behind the scenes secrets on everything from charter guest requests they have to reject, to why the cast have to commit to a certain hairstyle or look all season long. There have been times when charter guests have tried to take advantage of having a professional hair and makeup artist on board, Natalie revealed. Speaking to Showbiz Cheat Sheet, she outlined, The thing is I have to respect the fourth wall. So, I would tell the charter guests, like, I'm so sorry, I just can't. There was one occasion when she helped a group of charter guests who were doing a photo shoot on the yacht. But other than that, Natalie has set some boundaries when it comes to the guests. She continued, for the most part, I tell the charter guests that I would love to go on the boat and glam you every single day. But I'm already in charge of the cast so I have to let them genuinely feel like they're alone on this journey versus I'm there to hold their hand to every stop. There have been times when someone other than her has done the cast's hair and makeup and she was keen to distance herself from one particular look. Fraser Allender, who was second stew on Below Deck Season 9, had a rather orange complexion in his confessional videos. And Natalie was was not responsible for Fraser's makeup when he filmed those scenes. Fraser himself joked about his jaundiced appearance in the confessionals, which were shot months after the season had wrapped. Don't miss! Below Deck Down Under Season 2, Meet the New Cast, Reveal, Courtney Veal Details Awkward Below Deck Moment After Joining Cast Late, Exclusive, Below Deck's Chef Ben Announces Engagement to Love of My Life, Insight, Natalie Affirmed, A lot of my friends in the industry and friends know that's my show. So I hope people don't think that I did that. That was not me, I was gone by then. She had already moved on to some of the other Below Deck spin-off shows, such as Below Deck Mediterranean and Below Deck Adventure, at this point. Natalie remarked, So I think what happened with Fraser is whoever did his makeup was just genuinely newer to the industry. But specifically for men's grooming, less is more. And since this is a reality show and our show is the most real on Bravo, is with men. All they really need is a little powder. If they are a little sunburned, you can even them out with a little tinted moisturizer. But I would never go in with a heavy foundation for any of the guys because they don't need it. The idea is to keep it as authentic as possible, Natalie concluded, it doesn't make sense for them to have full eyelashes, eyeshadow, and red lipstick. The cast also have to commit to a certain hairstyle for their confessionals, which they have to adhere to for the rest of the season to ensure continuity. This meant Rocky Dakota from Below Deck Season 3 had to keep her hair curly the whole way through, while they gave Rocky's fellow Season 3 castmate, Amy Johnson, her big Texan hair. Below Deck and the Below Deck Mediterranean Below Deck Sailing Yacht, Below Deck Down Under and Below Deck Adventure are available to stream on Hayu in the UK and Bravo in the US.